Good morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Tuesday, April 17th. Starbucks CEO is promising to train workers on unconscious bias. Kevin Johnson met with Philadelphia leaders after the arrest of two black men at a Rittenhouse Square coffee house. Johnson calls the arrest unfortunate, but he also blames himself and his company's policy, saying that led to the arrest. And the search is on for a gunman who shot and killed a man driving in South Philadelphia. This happened last night on the 2200 block of Cantrell Street. After he was shot, police say the victim drove about half a block, crashing into several parked cars and through a parking lot fence before coming to a stop. And cell phone video captures these intense flames in Philadelphia's Bridesburg section as firefighters arrive on the scene. The flames broke out on the 4600 block of Richmond Street around 10 last night. Firefighters had that fire under control in less than 30 minutes. No one was hurt, and the cause remains under investigation. Well, let's check in with meteorologist Katie Fehlinger. And Katie, it's chilly out there. Yeah, and it seems like it's something we just cannot get rid of or how these little disturbances keep coming in. No major storms really in sight for the next few days, but there are these additional bursts of chilly reinforcing air that keeps our temperatures for the most part below average. We do at least start to approach seasonal values in the next couple of days, but we're not really looking at a seasonal, let alone above average forecast here. Let's take a look at the reasons why. So we have one storm system making its departure in part brought in, you know, some of those deluge uh, rains from yesterday, but that's still actually bringing about some additional wind today. Then leading into Wednesday and Thursday, another disturbance is crossing through again, not very strong disturbance, but it does reinforce the chill. So you're going to see those temperatures sort of just ebbing and flowing in the span of the next few days. And with the breeze picking up, well, tree pollen has been an issue um, as we also moderate on the thermometer in the next few days, that is, is going to be be a concern for those of you suffering from seasonal allergies. So high pollen counts here, especially for tree pollen. In the next few days, though, take a look. You're up to 60 by tomorrow and Thursday, but today we aren't even going to get past 50. Quite a cool afternoon. In the meantime, tomorrow does look pretty nice, but we hover in that below average territory even into the upcoming weekend. All in all, a pretty quiet forecast, however, and we'll be up to or at least flirting with 60 for the weekend. Rahel? All right, Katie, thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up-to-date forecasts and the latest stories right here on cbsphilly.com. That's the latest for the Morning Digital Brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.